All right, in our previous video, we uh, used FMP24 and the 1R bat to uh, tune into a P25 phase two trunk system. We uh, learned how on radio reference, we could uh, locate a system. This is the one we did previously. We learned how we find our control channel, search around with SDR sharp or SDR plus plus or one of those to find the strongest signal closest to us. And we learned that we could, on some systems, we could go to downloads on that system page and sometimes find pre-compiled data files that we could use like in the previous video where we uh, added the data from these files to our DSD plus sites and DSD plus groups files. So we could see in the DSD plus Fastlane windows, we could see who was talking, which groups, which radios, but you'll notice that while we were listening to that, oh, we still got something open, huh? Okay, let me close that. Still got one right here. So while we were using that. You see this, but like, wouldn't it be nice if you could mouse along when you're surfing the frequencies and see what a system was? Well, they got this website over here called Digital Frequency Search. And they got a lot of options in here. We'll go down here and you can search by FMP24 frequency file search by county. So you can use this with FMP, FMPP, yeah. but you can search by county. So you would enter your county and then enter your state and hit search. And you scroll down and like it found. 3,574 licensed frequencies within my county and surrounding area. So what can I do with that? Well, if you go to your DSD plus Fastlane folder and you scroll up to your FMP24 config file, if you open that with a text editor, You're going to see down here you got freak list and freak list 2, primary frequency list. So we can take that information from this website. We can copy to a clipboard, go to our text editor, create a new file. We paste that in there, and what we're going to do is we're going to save it with this name and file extension. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go over here. We're going to hit save as. We want to make sure that we're saving it in our Fastlane folder. We're going to paste the file name here. And then we're going to scroll down here to save as type. We want to scroll up to the top usually in most text editors and hit all types. Use all types or all file types. We're going to click that. And we're going to hit save. All right, so nothing there yet. There's one more thing you got to do. So we're in the config file down here, search origin. So that's going to be your grid area. And most likely you don't live nowhere near this. I mean, if we copy that and we go over to Google Maps and paste that into Google Maps and hit search.
Where did it take us? We got slow the internet out here in the country. Holy smokes, where's that? Hawaii. Well, I most certainly don't live in Hawaii. So, you're going to go down here and click this little button right here. I think that's, you know, find my, find me. All right, so, here I am. You know, you click it, there you'll be. So, I click in January where I'm at. And then click the Latin long right here. It's copied it to the clipboard. So now we're going to go over here. We're going to make new. We're going to paste this in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy before the decimal and then four digits after the decimal. And we're going to go back to our config file. I'm going to put this in here. Paste. And then same thing again. We're going to copy before the decimal and then four digits after the decimal. Copy. Paste. So, we're going to save that. Now when we look in our DSD plus Fastlane folder, we should see that FMP or the freak list. CSV. So now that file is in there. So still nothing. Well, you know what? We're going to have to restart it. So we'll go back up to our FMP24 control channel bat that we had made. We're going to double click that and fire it up. And if you look here, primary frequency list. Boom. Search day spade base 99 miles. And then look, there's our Latin long. It's done found our stuff. And right now it's showing that the frequency that we're on. So if we go up here. Oh, look. Clark County. So what happens if we start clicking down, down here where we got Clark County, Clark County. So what if we go in like a normal DMR range, like over here to the 450s, what do we got here? Not showing that one, huh? But it's showing where they help you identify signals that you see. I wonder what that is, huh? Well, maybe we can fire up that one R bat and find out. A little quiet, we can crank up the gain a little bit. We shrink the bandwidth down some, and it's nothing we're picking out there. What do we got here? Evergreen School District. DNR, but it's real faint. I'm kind of far away. But it helps you search around when you're looking. Go 
down here to the old analog range. Drop my game back down. You can see you got some signals floating around here. I mean, it's not going to name every one of them, but it'll let you know what's floating around out there. You can always click them in. It'll help you start narrowing your search down. Well, that's my local sheriff, and I know that's 154-815, so you can hit the control button and use the arrow keys to uh, adjust your frequency by step. But that's how you use that frequency file list. It's real handy to find out what you're... Uh, Seeing around on some of these. Oh, them PL tones. Crazy. All right. But that's how you can add these uh, licensed frequencies to your uh, your TSD+. Plus. Kind of give you an idea when you're surfing around in the spectrum what, you, uh, what you're coming across. It'll help you narrow down a system. And that's that for this video. We'll catch you on the next one.